Metals can be strengthened by adding more than one metal together, such as copper and tin to make bronze. In this example, the two combined has far greater strength than each of the individual metals. The sum is greater than the parts. We can also change the properties of metals by adding non-metallic elements, like carbon. If we take steel, there are hundreds of steels, all with slightly different properties. Some tough, some strong, other resistant to rust. These steels are produced by the same principle as bronze. We take one element, iron, which is the bulk of all steels, and add another chemical element, often called alloying elements to it. To name a few we could add carbon, manganese, nickel, copper, molybdenum, boron, chromium, niobium, titanium and vanadium. In this way we can tailor a steel to a specific application. So we take our grains of iron atoms and our alloying additions which often have a different atomic size. For example, carbon is small, nickel is slightly smaller than iron and molybdenum is slightly larger than iron and add them together and we get a distorted structure. When we add atoms that distort the atomic structure, this makes it more difficult for the atoms to move around and makes the material stronger. Depending on the type and amount, we can make a metal much stronger. The smallest elements like carbon lay in between the iron atoms. These are called interstitial. We have the largest atoms which replace an iron atom, like molybdenum. This is called substitutional. This type expands the structure. Or we can have smaller substitutional atoms, like nickel, that collapse the structure.